Hi guys, Miss Jackson here. I am going to share with you my favorite book from when I was a little girl. It is the tall book of Mother Goose. See how tall it is? And I used to just love this picture. These little red socks and this little picture book. And the doggy and the kitty cleaning herself or his self. You see how old it is? It's falling apart <laughs> because I'm old. And there's my name up there at the top. I don't know what my name was back then before I was Miss Jackson. And there is the goose because it is the Mother Goose book. And it has lots and lots and lots of nursery rhymes. We'll just read some of them. I love this picture. Do you see him? And there's the cows and the horses. Whoops, that's a horse, not a cow. There's the cow and the cow. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow and the cow's in the corn. Where's the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. And I understand about this one because I have pigs and I used to have cows and sometimes they would get out of the fence. But I never had a little boy whose job was to look after them. It was my job to look after them. <laughs> Uh-oh, here's a little girl who's crying. Here's Sulky Sue, what shall we do? Turn her face to the wall till she comes to. She's sulky. What does sulky mean? Does that mean? <laughs> yeah, that's what it means. But do you think being face to the wall will fix it? I don't know. When I feel, it's usually because I need to talk to somebody about what I'm sad about. Hmm. Little Tommy Tittlemouse lived in a little house. He caught fishes in other men's ditches. So he's like fishing outside his window. I guess that ditch of water doesn't belong to him. <laughs> Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating his Christmas pie. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, what a good boy am I. <laughs> Do you think he's a good boy? Cause he found a plum. It's a pretty cute picture. I love the colors. Ooh, I bet you know this one. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating of curds and whey. There came a big spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Do you know curds and whey? Do you know what that is? It's cottage cheese. Yep. Yummy. Are you scared of spiders? I'm not. Now I know there are fiddlebacks and there are um, black widows and those are scary ones, but most of them are not scary. Oh, there was an old woman lived under a hill and if she's not gone, she lives there still. I guess that's true. Oh, peas porridge. Do you guys know about peas porridge? We call it split pea soup, but this is the little poem about it. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold, peas porridge in the pot, nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold, some like it in the pot, nine days old. <laughs> this is a picture of a pot of peas. Oh, but here's a little girl who's sitting in the fireplace. Little Polly Flinders sat among the cinders, warming her pretty little toes. Her mother came and caught her and whipped her little daughter for spoiling her nice new clothes. Oops, she looks pretty young. I don't know if she knew that she had done something so bad. Hmm. Ooh, do you like this one? Do you have toes? If you have toes, you have probably heard this one and you probably like it. This little pig went to market. This little pig stayed home. 
This little pig had roast beef. This little pig had none. And this little pig cried wee 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 all the way home. <laughs> Does your mommy or your daddy or maybe your grandma grab your toes? Okay, I have to change this one a little bit, okay? Because I don't like it. <laughs> but I do like the picture. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and kissed them all soundly and sent them to bed. Nighty night. <laughs> so many children. There was a piper had a cow and he had not to give her. He pulled out his pipe and played her a tune and bade the cow consider. The cow considered very well and gave the piper a penny and bade him play the other tune, corn rigs are bonny. Okay, <laughs> bonny means pretty and corn rigs, I don't know what that is, but I like the picture, so. And I liked the picture when I was three too. Let's see, I'm gonna pick one more. This one, and we can sing it. Look at those pretty kitties. I love this one. Three little kittens, they lost their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, we sadly fear our mittens we have lost. What, lost your mittens, you naughty kittens, and you shall have no pie. Meow, 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 meow. The three little kittens, they found their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have found. What found your mittens, you good little kittens, and you shall have some pie. Brrr, 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 brrr. <laughs> now you know that song and you can sing it today. And you can pretend to be the kittens and be sad when you lose your mittens. And you can be happy when you find your mittens. And you can be the mommy who says, what, lost your mittens, you naughty kittens. Have you ever lost mittens? It's easy to do. Oh, I just turned the page. There's more verses I did not know. Let's continue. The three little kittens put on their mittens and soon ate up the pie. Oh, mother dear, we greatly fear our mittens we have soiled. What? Spoiled your mittens, you naughty kittens. And, and then they began to sigh. Meow, 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 meow. The three little kittens, they washed their mittens and hung them up to dry. Oh, mother dear, look here, look here, our mittens we have washed. What? Washed your mittens, you darling kittens. Hmm, but I smell a rat close by. Hush, 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 hush. Oh, aren't they cute? I love kittens. Is that the end? Yes, that is the end. The next one is Simple Simon. Mm, should we read one more? Yeah, we should. And then we could sing the kitten song again if you wanted, or you can just rewatch it. Simple Simon met a pieman going to the fair. Said Simple Simon to the pieman, let me taste your wares. Says the pieman to Simple Simon, show me first your penny. Says Simple Simon to the pieman, Indeed, I have not any. He went to catch a dicky bird and thought he could not fail because he'd got a little salt to put upon its tail. Simple Simon went to fishing for to catch a whale. All the water he could find was in his mother's pail. He went to ride a spotted cow that had a little calf. She threw him down upon the ground, which made the people laugh. Simple Simon went to look if plums grew, grew on a thistle. He pricked his finger very much, which made poor Simon whistle. <laughs> I guess. He went for water in a sieve. That's one of those bowls that has holes in the bottom. But soon it all ran through. And now poor Simple Simon bid you all adieu. That's a good one to end on. Oh, poor Simon. He didn't really know what he was doing. Ah. <sighs> Nursery rhymes. 
They are really fun to memorize. So if you don't have all of those memorized, mm -mm -mm, you need to get busy. Okay, young sir or young ma'am, learn some nursery rhymes. If you don't have a nursery rhyme book in your house, oops, I almost kicked you. I did kick you. Um, if you don't have a nursery rhyme book in your house, then you can look them up on the internet. Uh, you can ask an adult to help you. Find them on a phone or an iPad, okay? And start learning your nursery rhymes. They're good. I love them. I love you and I miss you. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. Hugs and kisses.